Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a colleague. Amy kills a Sky Skiff in combat and brings it back with Baraska the Silencer. What will be its characteristics? Can she still crew it? Okay, so first off, to determine any object's characteristics, you start with what's written on the card and then apply any relevant continuous effects. Unfortunately, this is one of those cases where the rules make it kind of confusing to know exactly how the continuous effects acting in this scenario work. For example, Vraska says the affected permanent is a treasure artifact and it loses all its other card types. Longtime fans of the channel might recall though that vehicle is not a card type, it's an artifact type, otherwise known as a subtype. It's not immediately obvious from just what it says on Vraska's effect whether other artifact types will be removed or not. We need to refer to the CR, specifically here, to know that the way Vraska's effect is worded, the subtype treasure will overwrite any other artifact types that the card might have had. Likewise, it also tells us that the affected permanent loses all other card types besides artifact, and that will result in it losing all subtypes that are not artifact types. Accordingly, we can say that after applying Vraska's effect, the final type line will read just artifact treasure. Another thing that might not be obvious based on just how Vraska is worded relates to abilities. You might already know that if you have some effect that makes a land into an island, then that causes that land to gain the ability to tap for blue mana. And that makes sense from at least a flavor perspective, right? I mean, islands tap for blue. But, well, the reason for that is that it happens that there's this rule here that says any land with the island subtype intrinsically has the ability to tap for blue mana, even if there's no effect in the game or the card that gives it that ability. Now, even though treasures are pretty strongly associated with the ability to sacrifice them for mana, they don't actually have their own version of this rule here that intrinsically gives that ability to anything with the treasure subtype. There is this rule that defines uh, that ability as one of a treasure token's default characteristics, but that's only applicable if something is creating a treasure token. And that's why Vraska had to specifically spell out that its effect gives that ability to the affected permanence. Otherwise, they simply wouldn't have it. You might also know that there's another thing Spreading Seas does related to abilities. Anytime an effect sets a land's subtype to one of the basic land types, that causes the land to lose all of its abilities. Like before, treasures do not have their own version of this rule that says that the same thing happens anytime an artifact gets its type set to treasure. So that means that Sky Skiff will have all of its normal abilities. The gaining the ability to tap and sacrifice itself for mana is strictly an additive process. That means Sky Skiff would still have its crew ability. Activating that would work entirely normally. It would create a continuous effect that changes Sky Skiff into an artifact creature. Because of how the rules work, again, not something that would be obviously deducible from the card text, such an effect allows Sky Skiff to keep any of its prior card types and subtypes, meaning that it would still be a treasure even though it's not a vehicle. Now, there's nothing in the rules saying you can only crew vehicles. The crew ability is worded such that it works no matter what type of permanent it's on. In fact, one of the funniest consequences that this ruling has is that if you had a Grizzly Bears that's enchanted with Revoke Privileges, it can still crew that Sky Skiff because Sky Skiff's not a vehicle. Kind of like that movie, The Straight Story. Now, I imagine that some of you might be wondering how this would play out if you used Vraska's ability to turn an equipment into a treasure. Well, of course, you could do that. It would be a bit more hoops to jump through, but certainly nothing a determined Johnny couldn't handle. Well, just like before, the equipment would still have its equip ability even though it wouldn't be an equipment anymore. Unfortunately, the equip ability does not function nearly as well as the crew ability when it's not on its intended artifact type, because even if it managed to get equipped to a creature, there's this state-based action that would make it fall off immediately afterwards. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling. Until then, I hope you have a great day.